Well hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Now in this video we're going to be taking you on a bit of a jolly, but mostly to talk about a new product that I've got. One that I'm actually now wearing, Rooker. I've now jumped on board to the TLR channel and have sponsored me their new um, Pro Gore-Tex laminated suit. This is the Shield R uh, suit from Wacker. So if you're in the market for a new suit and you want to know what I think about it, then stay tuned and I will see you just after this. I've been an extremely lucky boy and Rooker have sponsored me their top of the range Gore-Tex Pro laminated textile suit. Now we're going to chat about the suit in just a sec. My reason for sort of uh, doing it or for, for our sort of reasoning for, for doing a bit of work together. I have over the years owned um, a number of Rooker suits and a couple from Revit, Venusi etc. And I've always had textile suits that have been Gore-Tex, but you get an inner liner Gore-Tex um, liner. You know what I'm talking about. It's a removable Gore-Tex jacket that goes inside uh, the jacket and trousers. Now, I've, I've had gripes with it over the years because it will protect you or keep you dry sort of with, um, with a light shower. But in constant downpours, you've still got to have waterproofs with you. So it's, it's, a, it's an, an annoyance for, for, for one. And uh, the main uh, reason I never really got on with them because it gave you the feeling that you were you were wet when you weren't because the Gore-Tex layer is inside the jacket. So there's a there's a layer of air between the Gore-Tex liner and the outer shell. The outer shell gets sodden. The the rain and water will soak through that and uh, predominantly cooling you down, so you lose temperature. And then you can sort of in the real downpours, so you can feel the the rain or the the moisture running down the outside of the Gore-Tex jacket. So it gave me the feeling of actually being wet, but then when you stopped, um, that wasn't the case. You always remained dry, but it was a horrible feeling to have. So I, you know, I invested in, in decent um, waterproofs, but it's, it's an absolute pain in the, the cock. So I was, I was looking to change that. And the, the only way you can sort of do away with uh, uh, carrying waterproofs with you is to fork out quite a bit of money and get yourself a laminate Gore-Tex uh, suit. Now the difference on these um, uh, jackets and trousers is that the Gore-Tex layer is laminated to the inside of the, the outer shell. So there's no air pocket between the uh, Gore-Tex liner and the outer shell. So with these jackets, what happens is when it rains, it beads off, beads off the outer shell. You do get a bit of ingress, you know, in some places in stitching, but it's, it's sort of minimal. Um, so, but then it doesn't, it doesn't cool you down. So the, the plus points of are that you can un, you can bin off your waterproofs if you like. The jackets themselves, jackets and trousers, they take less time to dry. So, you know, if you stop of an evening or even just for an hour or two and you have had a bit of a downpour, they dry very quickly. Now these suits do come at a large cost. They are, this is the top of the range uh, laminated suit from Rooker. So this jacket will set you back 1,300 euros and the trousers an extra 900. So. It is right up there um, on, with price. Now that price may vary um, whatever country you're uh, shopping in, obviously in the equivalents in your sort of local um, currency, but the prices may, may vary from country to country. But that being said, with the price, the Rooker have thrown everything at this uh, suit. So from materials that they use, we're talking top quality materials, so protection, we've got shoulder, elbow, uh, back protections in the jacket and a chest protector. The chest protector is C rated level one and everything else is level two, but I'm liking the, uh, the chest uh, armor in the front. It's very comfortable. Now throughout the suit, they've used uh, the Cordura material. I'm sure you've heard of that um, before. Throughout the entire suit is Cordura and they've actually sort of woven in um, Kevlar into the Cordura material in the sort of high abrasive areas shoulders, um, elbows, etc., to give you that, that bit more uh, protection if you do have a bit of an off. Now, that being said, it does, um, when, you do, when I'm not wearing it, it does feel a, a sort of a mass of a suit. It does feel it's heavy because of obviously the materials it is using and a lot of the, uh, the armor that's in these um, suits. It does feel heavy, but once you've got it on, it's incredibly uh, comfortable. There's lots of expansion packs, expansion packs, expansion, um, sort of panels in the back so you're fully you've got fully 
full range of movement so you can happily sort of move around on the bike if that's what you're into and it doesn't uh, it doesn't feel heavy or tall once you're actually on the move now today is a hot day it's a it's a humid day it's absolutely disgusting it's about 27 degrees but it's really humid horrible hot and sticky now I was a bit um, worried at the start when I actually put this on put this on for the first time I thought because it's sort of so big and chunky and a, a mass of a suit I thought I'm gonna cook in it but it's got um, I think it's got eight vents in the in the jacket alone and four in the trousers so it's heavily vented so you've got one on the bicep one on the uh, on the chest on both sides two uh, two exhaust vents on the back and two large uh, uh, vents on the side of the jacket and you can open them fully now with these vents or with a lot of jackets uh, a lot of the time they're not sort of direct vents they're vented sort of in between the outer shell and the inner sort of membrane the or the Gore-Tex layer but these vents are direct so this once you open a vent up it, uh, it blows air directly into the jacket now that you have eight of them in the jacket it's incredibly breezy in this coat I've got them all open at the moment because it's pretty warm but it is keeping me nice and cool. Now it has four in the trousers, so there's two um, two vents at the front of the uh, sort of upper thigh, and two behind it sort of uh, exhaust vents. So I can feel that in my legs as well. It depends obviously what bike you ride, depends how much airflow you'll get through the suit. If you're riding a big GS or you've got a big screen in front of you, then we'll benefit less um, from the vents coming from, or the, the, the air rushing in through the jacket from the front. As I'm on a super naked, I've got no wind protection at all so the air rushes beautifully through the jacket and through the trousers not so much on the trousers because I'm pretty protected um, from the wind from the tank of the bike but nonetheless it is pretty breezy in here now I've been using this suit for the last uh, what I don't know six weeks or so and I've been out in all weathers in it this is probably the the hottest day um, that I've worn the jacket and uh, to be honest I'm pretty comfortable I've been out in hefty downpours and uh, it has not failed to impress I can now happily ditch the waterproofs and not take them with me ever again so this is going to be sort of my go-to suit um, that I'm going to be wearing throughout this season so there will be more updates to follow on how it uh, performs now another one to add on the sort of cooling um, and heating of the suit it's got an outlast inner liner inside it now basically this is a, a top of the range liner that's inside the suit and it's got kind of you just describe it as it's um, it's kind of beaded so there's beads inside the liner and they melt and solidify depending on the temperature of your body in the suit so basically what it does is slows down um, sort of temperature change you know when uh, you stop for a you stop at a set of lights or you stop for fuel especially in hot summer you, you tend to heat up very quickly and it becomes very uncomfortable very quickly even if you just sat at a lights set of satellites for you know a minute or two so this liner helps to keep the jacket cool in the summer months so when you do stop at a set of lights so you do stop for fuel um, the technology that it uses it just slows down that process and makes you feel that bit more comfortable and that is that works an absolute treat I filled up a few earlier this morning and um, yes obviously it gets a bit warmer but it is a notable difference to all my other suits that I have that heated up very quickly once you'd stopped this kept you a bit cooler for that bit longer other cool features on it just the smallest things you know that you know where your money's gone with the sort of the small things that make life easier on the on the sleeves on the cuffs of these jackets it's got a, a cuff that you pull down and basically your jaw uh, your your glove comes over the top of the cuff especially even more so if you're wearing a full gauntlet glove goes over the top of the cuff um, but under the outer shell of the jacket and that too is also Gore-Tex so for the wind there's no way that the wind can blow the the sort of moisture up into your sleeve there's no way it's getting in those small things just make your life so much more comfortable likewise on the neck there's a there's a removable collar or a rolled up collar that's inside um, the collar at the back of the jacket you can open that up and it's just an extra wind protection or rain protection to put around your neck and um, to stop that ingress of water um, and rain over time because that's the main thing what, what happens in, a, in, in larger downpours or, or longer downpours 
that eventually things start to creep in. You know what I'm talking about when it goes slightly creeps up inside your cuff or in down the back of your neck. And it's, that's like a day ruiner. You're completely miserable then if it starts to ingress and make you feel uncomfortable. Now, as I said, I've been out many times in the pissing rain with this jacket and I felt I was happy as Larry. I was so comfortable. The, the water just pearls off, just beads off the, the outer shell and you don't lose temperature, you don't cool down. That's what was my main um, annoyance about all the, all the other suits that I have with the inner Gore-Tex layers. Um, the outer shell gets so sodden and then you just lose temperature. And as I said, it gives you that feeling of being wet, but, but you're not. It's, it's a horrible feeling. That's, it just makes the, the ride so much more miserable if, um, if you haven't got the right gear on. Now that being said, they were never sort of cheap suits either. This isn't for sure a cheap suit. Now this is possibly not something for somebody to consider if you're just sort of starting out. Possibly if, if budget is not a problem uh, for you guys, but it is, we're talking, this is top of the range uh, Gore-Tex textile suits. But like with everything, you, you get what you pay for. And um, for me, someone who rides all year round in all kinds of weathers, um, I've, I've been on so many rides where I've been, you know, properly miserable. Even with, still with good gear on, it still wasn't sort of uh, uh, making my life that bit more easier. So now with this jacket and trousers, I'm, I'm fully happy to be out in whatever weather. I can ditch off my waterproof so it saves up, frees up a bit of space uh, with regards to packing stuff when you go on tour. You can ditch the waterproofs, no problem whatsoever. So that's pretty much all I wanted to talk about today, just a sort of a brush over, a brief sort of overview of, um, of the Shield R from Rooker. Now I'm going to be using this, as I said, over this coming season in all kinds of weather, so there will be sort of further updates of what I think about it. From, but from the first few weeks that I've been using it, as I said, in all weathers, I've been out in all weathers, temperatures and whatnot, I am, I'm dead chuffed. I'm so, so happy that um, I'm now full laminated. That being said, I'd like to say a massive thank you to Rooker for jumping on board to the channel and sending me this uh, Shield R for review. I'm incredibly grateful that you've sent me <laughs> your top of the range uh, suit for me to try. We, had to, we were in discussions beforehand of what I was looking to get out of a suit or what we were looking to do together. So I sort of expressed um, sort of my views and opinions of the previous suits that I'd had from, uh, from Rucker and the problems I was having with the, you know, the waterproofness. So they said, let's send you the top of the range uh, laminated Gore-Tex Pro and uh, let us know how you get on with it. There are more products coming um, from Rucker. Um, they've sent me some uh, Gore-Tex Thermal G Plus uh, gloves for me to try out. Obviously, uh, we're heading now into summer, so I'm not going to get much use of them uh, up until or towards the end of the season. I can get some uh, get a review done on them. And there's also, um, they're sending me their um, heated and cooling vest. That's a product that they've now come up with. It's a heated vest, either using uh, battery packs or you can plug it into the bike's electronics, but it also has a small compressor inside it. So in the summer summer months, you can use it as well. And it basically just blows air through the, through the jacket and circulates um, some, uh, some cold air through the jacket. So even if you are, even if you are cooking a little bit, um, and you want that you want to be <laughs> that bit more comfortable um, that is then to come so uh, we shall see how that uh, pans out and when that arrives I shall uh, be throwing that on for sure over the summer months and letting you know what I think about that now this is a four seasons um, sort of touring suit so you can ride this happily all year round you've got protection from whatever weather wants to chuck at you from heat from rain from cold temperatures this suit can be used all year round Likewise, being it is a touring suit, it's got plenty of sort of storage with regards to uh, pockets. You've got two front pockets um, at the uh, front of the jacket. They are water resistant, not fully waterproof. Um, but most of my sort of belongings, you know, a telephone or anything that, that could possibly get wet goes on the inside pocket. So you've got one inside pocket on the left of the jacket where it's pretty deep actually inside. So you can, you can happily get quite a bit in there. It's got a pocket on the rear of the jacket, a sort of a larger, longer, elongated pocket on the back of the jacket if you need that bit more storage. Likewise, on the trousers, you've got your standard uh, two front pockets or two thigh pockets on the side of the trousers. 
Now the one thing the jacket doesn't come with or on the trousers is a thermal liner. I uh, queried that from Rooker and basically they said they carried out sort of a survey and listened to their customers and the, from the survey the results that they found that most users or customers would um, rather use their own thermal liners so that's why um, they've now not uh, included it in the jacket. Needless to say, if you do still want to buy Rooker's thermal liners, you can still get them. They're sort of a Downs um, thermal uh, liners, so you can still get them if you wanted to add them to uh, to the jacket and trousers, obviously an extra cost. But from what Rooker have told me, they said uh, most of the uh, customers were happy to use their own. So that is pretty much it today. We just sort of brushed over the sort of main points I wanted to talk about. Just sort of a, a quick overview and uh, insight into the new seat. Nice one. Now, as I said before, this will be my go-to suit now, so I'm going to be using this throughout the entire season, so there will be more content on this um, uh, suit to come, a sort of a longer term uh, update, if you like, of to how I'm getting on with it. But that is it for today. It seems I'm now stuck behind these two vans for eternity. Hopefully that has been of interest to you. If you have only got any other questions that you'd like to ask about the suit, then find me down in the comments section uh, below. Likewise, be sure to leave me a like or a dislike if you thought it was absolute bonk. Uh, if you are new here and you want to subscribe to the channel, then please do so. There's all kinds of content on this channel from product reviews to track days, touring videos, all kinds of stuff. We've got it covered on the TLR channel. But until next time, I will see you in the next one. Take it easy.